Hi guys and welcome to another edition of West Indian Wednesday. I hope you're all doing well. But before we jump right into it, if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel, please go right ahead and do so now. You can also click the subscribe button and the red notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you get an alert and you can come on over and watch the video. So today we're going to continue from our last um, volume of West Indian Wednesday with the superstitions. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Now these superstitions, of course I grew up in Antigua, um, Antigua and Barbuda, and that is in the Caribbean. And so some of the superstitions that, um, that I mentioned, maybe you might not have heard of them if you're from another Caribbean island, or maybe you have heard of them and you have similar superstitions or superstitions with different meanings or the same meanings. If any of the superstitions I mentioned today sound familiar to you, please comment in the comment section below and let me know. And if you have any other new or interesting or funny superstitions as well that you share in your country or culture, please feel free to share them with me. Okay, so jumping right into the superstitions. This one I used to hear a lot when I was a little girl and it was don't sweep my feet. Now this is normally said by a female um, family member or female friend and that is something that's quite common. So if you swept, it, it, it was believed that if you swept the feet of a female, um, you know, with a broom or something, that you would prevent her chances of getting married. Yes. So if you're, you know, sweeping the house or something like that, you'll, you'll see people jumping out of the way or lifting their feet to make sure that you did not sweep that brush across their feet, yeah? And the second superstition I'm sharing today, this one had to do with not throwing away shed hair. We were warned, do not throw away your shed hair. Now the shed hair, of course, as you know, is the hair that's found in your comb after you finish combing your hair or brushing your hair. You know those little balls? And um, some people just throw them outside, you know, or in the bin, but we were told, do not throw them outside especially you had to burn the hair now I asked well why can't we just throw you know the hair outside and I was told if you throw the hair outside a bird could pick that up and take the hair to make its nest and if the bird used your hair to make its nest it could drive you crazy you know it could send you crazy mentally insane of course you know at five six seven years old you have no idea like how a bird making a nest with your hair could turn you crazy but you know, that sort of scared you, so you made sure not to throw your hair outside and you take your hair to be burned. So I've actually heard that one as well, um, I think from a Jamaican friend of mine. So if that is true and if you have a similar um, superstition as well, similar to that one, you can let me know in the comments as I said. The third superstition that I'm sharing with you today, um, we were told never to open a sealed bottle that you find. Um, especially if you found that bottle um, on the beach. Now, of course, the reason we were given for this was um, that evil people or people um, who had captured spirits or jumbies, if you watch my last um, West Indian Wednesday, you might know what a jumbie is, it's like a ghost or spirit. Um, we were told that sometimes people captured evil spirits, evil jumbies, and put them in, in glass bottles and threw them out to sea to be lost. So of course, you know, if that bottle happened to wash up on somebody's shore, and you know, you're out at the beach, you're playing, you see a bottle that's sealed, never open that bottle because you could release that evil spirit or jumbie and that will follow you home and remain stuck to you, I guess, unless you got it removed. And of course, the thought of a ghost or spirit, you know, following you as a child was terrifying. So, you know, we made sure never to open any bottles but we never had a chance to open any bottles because i don't recall ever finding you know any sort of sealed bottles on the beach or anywhere else for that matter right so um and finally the last superstition i'm sharing with you today this one has to do with attending funerals or um cemeteries and we were told if you attended a funeral or a cemetery on your way home when you're approaching your door to turn around and back into your house yes that's right don't walk face forward into your house, turn around and enter backwards. The reason that we were given for that was that sometimes, you know, 
a ghost or spirit maybe not even from the person who died could be some other random spirit floating around the place could attach itself to you and actually follow you home but for some reason if you turned and entered your house backwards it couldn't enter your house so that was the belief if you're leaving a funeral or a cemetery before you step into your house turn around and enter it backwards and that ghost or spirit won't have a chance of following you inside right well that's all for today guys in this other edition of West Indian Wednesday I hope you enjoyed that if you learned something new let me know if you have any thoughts or comments to share please go ahead and comment down below also feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel also feel free to follow me on my social media at Chattinati on Twitter on chat at Chattinati on Facebook and also on Instagram and you can also check out my WordPress blog chattinati.wordpress.com thanks for watching guys and see you on the next edition of West Indian Wednesday bye